We're going to have a look at the interplay between Lumion and Revit quickly, Lumion 8 and Revit 2018. And looking at a Revit wall, those of you that know Revit would know that we've got this uh, material property of a layer within a wall. That will show up in Lumion as a material. Bringing this through into um, Lumion, we would have to save this as, and then after it's been exported, we can bring that into Lumion. And here we can see that the brick material has come through ubiquitously because there's only one material applied here and one may apply a different material to that and everything will show up the same. So a lot of interior designers and architects uh, they would like to have the walls painted in individual materials or some of them in individual materials and also there might be some area on one of these walls that they might like to to change. So what we can do <coughs> is we can use the paint material to paint with other materials for argument's sake. That face there and that face there is one material and there's a nice yellow material that we can pick up there. Great. And then of course there's a different tool in here as well where we can split a face and create a region on that face to which may we we may also apply a different material. This is now the new DAE file that we're going to write out. I'm going to call that to this. If that's exported, and in Lumion we bring that back. Reload from, and here we can see how some different materials has come through. the yellow painted walls and the copper walls which now again we might turn into different Lumion materials I'm going to go with a outdoor brick and maybe we can put a living wall up here so that looks great. And so one may apply different materials to different faces within rooms and subsections of walls. Great tool. Well, I've hoped you enjoyed this and enjoy rendering with Lumion. And uh, yeah, be creative. Paint your faces of the walls and uh, they come out very nicely indeed.